Hi, I'm Dr. Carl Siebert. Uh, I'm a professor at the University of Nevada Reno School of Medicine, and I'm going to give you a little tour of our really cool anatomy lab. Let's go over here first to our anatomage table where I can uh, introduce you to Dr. Jillian Moritz, one of my colleagues, and she's going to tell you a little bit about this table. Hi, Dr. Siebert. So here in the lab, our students not only get a chance to interact with their actual donors, but they get to do a virtual dissection as well. So on this anatomage table, you can spin, you can rotate, you can add and remove layers. You can also look at two-dimensional two uh, anatomy on this table. Great, Dr. Moritz, thank you very much. Let's go over here to a dissection table and talk to another colleague, Dr. Caroline Cobine. She's gonna tell you a little bit about our dissection process. So in our lab, we use cadavers that we receive through our anatomical donation program. We have small groups of students that will do a full body dissection and each station is equipped with a surgical light as well as a sound tube to project our volume from our dissection videos, which you can see an example of right here. Thanks, Dr. Cobine. I'm gonna take you to the back room now where I can introduce you to Lindsay Pisani. She's our lab manager. And on the way, I wanna tell you a little bit about our lab and how it was built. This lab was built with funds from the Pen Pennington Foundation back in 2011. And because it's such a recent build out, it's one of the more modern technolo technologically advanced labs in the country. Now we're entering our prep lab where we can introduce you to Lindsay M Pisani. She's our lab manager. She's gonna tell you a little bit about the cadaver donation program. Hi, uh, all of our cadavers come to us through our anatomical donation program. Uh, this is made up of local community members that live within 50 miles of the university. They sign up while they're still alive and then become pending donors. At time of death, they will come here and be used in our different departments for dissection as well as other uses. Uh, average age of our donor is around 80 years old and we have about 50 deaths a year. The first year medical students use 18 of those cadavers and then at the end of the year act as funeral directors and put on a memorial service for the families of the donors that had died this year. Hey Lindsay, do we supply any other schools in the state of Nevada with bodies? We do. Basically any donor that you come into contact with for dissection will have started here. We provide bodies to WNC in Carson City, TMCC, as well as lower campus biology, anatomy, physio anatomy and physiology. Thanks. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the anatomy lab at University of Nevada Reno School of Medicine.